Hello everyone, Dr. David Perlmutter here, and an uh, interesting study just came uh, in the journal BMJ, and it looks at a very important question, and that is how much alcohol is good for the brain or not. Uh, you know, we've been reviewing literature over the past decade or so that has demonstrated a bell-shaped curve in terms of alcohol consumption, demonstrating risk for dementia being actually slightly higher in those who completely abstain uh, lower for those who drink modestly, and then increased again for those who drink heavily. Uh, so having said that, uh, we want to look at newer research that comes to us again from the journal BMJ. Uh, one a study called Moderate Alcohol Consumption as Risk Factor for Adverse Brain Outcomes and Cognitive Decline, a Longitudinal Cohort Study. Now what this study did was looked at a cohort of individuals, 550 men and women, their average age 43 years, and they did two things. First, they assessed how much alcohol these individuals consumed, and secondly, uh, they performed MRI scans of the brains on these individuals and actually measured the size of their hippocampus, the brain's memory center. The reason they did that is because the hippocampus is an area uh, that is involved in cognitive decline. It's an area that is seen to shrink, for example, in Alzheimer's disease. And what these researchers found was really quite interesting and sort of contradicts uh, what we have been uh, accepting over the past few years, and that is that alcohol affects the hippocampus in what we call a dose-related way. Uh, the, re the response to alcohol consumption is related to the, to the dose that even small levels of alcohol consumption are associated with loss of bulk, uh, if you will, of the hippocampus. Uh, and that sort of challenges the notion that a small amount of alcohol is good for us. These researchers found that the more alcohol that was consumed, the more shrinkage was observed in the hippocampus. Their conclusion, let me read it, alcohol consumption, even at moderate levels, is associated with adverse brain outcomes, including hippocampal atrophy, or loss of bulk of the hippocampus. These results support the recent reduction in alcohol guidance in the United Kingdom and question the current limits recommended in the United States. So we will uh, continue to watch this story as it unfolds. Uh, this study is interesting because it looked at alcohol consumption in general it didn't stratify the results in terms of the type of alcohol that was consumed. We do know, for example, that red wine has some uh, positive attributes in terms of nutrients, if you will, based upon, for example, its polyphenol content being um, good for the body uh, as a, an antioxidant, but also uh, having positive effects upon the microbiome, the organisms that live in the gut. Uh, but by and large, our suspicions have been that alcohol per se is straightforward toxic to the brain. Uh, this study tends to confirm that. So uh, do with this study as you will, but I think it's, it's a very important information. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter, and thanks for joining me.